we're going to Byron Bay today and because we're like in the middle of like the coronavirus thing, the airport is like super empty. So we've arrived at the Stone and Wood Brewery. Um, gonna do some beer tastings and a tour. Looks pretty cool.
<laughs> we think that's a lighthouse over there and like the eastern tip so check that out we're going tomorrow So now we're having a bit of a look around the streets. So now we're going to go to, um, I don't know, it's like not far away from here, but we're going to go see some whales. So got my breakfast this is Vegemite I'm like this bread we found at Woolworths yesterday James did it um and he's like this is your trap because like, you're taking it with you um anyway so we're seeing some whales and then we're probably just gonna have a little bit of a look around do a couple of walks and that will probably be the day today yeah, this is the car we've got as well it's a um Mitsubishi ASX it's a pretty cute car I actually don't mind the color Ow, just <laughs> knocked my head off on that pole. <laughs> once we get to that point though, once we get in that side of the opportunity to stand up and see over the top of you guys. So, um, you guys want to be out the front? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's just, he, he dips it. Did you see that? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was. What did he miss? <laughs> what did he miss? Oh, uh, the second one? Yeah. yeah, if you want. It's, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was thinking we put, we go, all we'll go two and then a one and then a two and then a one and then a two. Yeah. We got the front. Uh, <laughs> I must say, how good were your synchronized whales? Yeah, we've had like double overhead barrels most days. <laughs>
Kingscliff. So, can you see my head? <laughs> we're in Kingscliff right now, so we're just about to have like lunch on the beach. And then we're going to do a couple of walks in the afternoon, at, like Fingal. I feel like people today are just looking at us like we're filthy because we're from Victoria because of the whole COVID hotspot thing. So it's like, we're from Victoria, but we're not from that place in Victoria. So it's all good, but it's really pretty here. That's the beach. And then it's almost like a surface paradise kind of look about it, but without all the high rises. looking at the Byron Bay Lighthouse and this is like this view that's on the track it's just like gorgeous we're at the most easterly point of the Australian mainland do you realize I'm no I'm not taking a photo anymore <laughs> and that's that point that lots of people take photos of. Mm. I didn't realize there was actually a path down there. Beach hotel for dinner. And James is really keen. Are you alive? Yeah. tomorrow my goodness <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow uh, we're going and doing the interland are we gonna go to Nimbin we are going to Nimbin Nimbin has marijuana James are you gonna have marijuana no really no I'm not really no because I don't want to get drug tested or anything like that happen so it's just it's like a crime deterrent. It's like the police catching you, that's the deterrent, not your, the, your moral character. It's the deterrent. It's purely neoliberal deterrent. It's 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday and we're just walking to the market to have some breakfast and have a look around. It's just the first time we've actually seen it in the morning. Like It's like really nice. I really like kind of northern New South Wales, Queensland in the morning. It's got a nice nice feel to it. It's like people are out and doing stuff. Apparently the markets aren't actually on because of Corona and apparently it's only on first Sunday of the month but it doesn't matter. I'll go to breakfast somewhere else. It's really pretty down here at the moment.
So I've got the vegan big brekkie and James has got the standard cruelty one. How do you feel about that? It's only a small amount of cruelty on this. It's a lot of cruelty from what I can see. It's only a small amount. But it's like a really cute place, like you can see like all the beach and everything. Can you say what we're doing right now? Parking. I need to get in the toilet. Alright, <laughs> I'll do it. Um, so basically we just driving around for like two hours and it was so hard to find this national park. But finally we're here. Um, going down, down a few different dirt roads. Got really frustrated. But anyway, we're now here, here now. Got our first walk um, at Bar Mountain. We're probably just going to do like this one here. And um... Yeah, it's just good to get out of the car and actually be at a place. Because it is like one o'clock now and I feel like we've just been driving the whole morning. So now we're just going to go to the Pinnacle Lookout. Apparently it's got views back over... James is like running because he doesn't want to have people catch it up to us. Um, apparently it's got like views... Where is it looking back over, James? It's looking back over Mount Warning, but yeah, we can't go to Mount Warning because it's closed at the moment. It's really actually quite cold here. It's like nine degrees. Sorry? You can see so far. can see so far. James just walked off without me. How rude. Yes, my girl, we. We've arrived in Minbin. I think I've already been offered some weed and everything is all colourful and pretty. I've got hazelnut and chocolate. What do you have? Fruit holiday ones. So what, what are they? I don't know. Can't even remember. You ordered it like three seconds ago. This place is like a heap better than the place we went to last night because they've actually got like gelato, like vegan ice cream, not just sorbets. So today is day four and we're just at the lighthouse this morning looking at the sunrise. It's really pretty. I might put my phone on something so I can like just do like a like a time lapse of the sun coming up because that would be really pretty to look back on. And it's better than looking at a couple of photos. It's like the whole thing.
There's all different things. Like, We just went shopping and I just picked up a $500 dress from Tiger Lily for $60. And it's like so pretty, you can't really see it, but it's got like all this like detailing on it. It's like really pretty. Something I probably wouldn't usually buy, but it was $60. So we're having lunch at Manor Haven. James, have you found this place? Did you find eat today? Yeah. Yeah, so like everything like on the plate is like $17. Like so for three servings and it's like two curries and a lasagna, but you get to like pick. It's really cute, like. That little window. Probably gonna get dessert after this. Okay. James' mom just sent us a message before. They're closing the New South Wales Victoria border tomorrow night. So we're just really lucky that we actually got to come on this trip because if we were going next weekend, we wouldn't have been able to get in. But yeah, tomorrow going back to our cesspit of a coronavirus state gonna go have some coronavirus. Mmm, the corona is coronavirus. <laughs> this is like James's favorite animal in the whole wide world. The bush turkey. I reckon if we could have one as a pet he would definitely have one. Look at that look on his face. Mm. Just complete mm. utter love. Okay, <laughs> so this is Killin Falls. So apparently a lot of people come here like to swim during summer. You can see why, it's like, it looks really nice and stuff, I just don't know how you'd get down there, but it's just, just it's wondering, it's just, no one from the, if any of the visitor information centers has told us about this, we just kind of found it. Alright James, you're going to say where we are, where are we? Uh, Bangalore. And what are we doing? Uh, walking up the main street. And what is this kind of place? It's a rural town. <laughs> it's just like really nice like it's not like broken or anything it's actually really nice there's a lot of really kind of, kind of cute but really expensive shops and I it's our last night in Byron Bay I'm just going for a little bit of a walk on the beach because we're waiting for um it's going to it's going to be some margarita isn't it James yes I swear to every single thing I've done this whole this whole video has been like James what are we at where are we actually been where are we actually going I don't know the names of any place. Um, yeah, we're going to Miss Margarita for dinner. So, but they've got like a wait list. So we're just going for a nice walk on the beach. Um, over there, if you can see that little bit over there, that's like a shipwreck. Apparently people go dive around it. And then you've got Mount Warning. And then a few other mountains. And then up there you've got the lighthouse. Where we were this morning. There's a few, there's a heap more people around here tonight than what there has been. There's a lot more traffic as well, so it's probably why we have to wait a bit to get into a restaurant. Dun -dun -dun. So it's our last day in Byron today, and the this morning they've shut the Queensland the sorry the New South Wales and Victoria border so if you can't going from Victoria to New South Wales and you don't live in New South Wales you can't get in at the moment um, and there's like a full like hard closure as of um, midnight tonight but we're gonna be back in Victoria by then and it wouldn't have been an issue for us returning anyway but we're just gonna go to Bungalow to have breakfast because we didn't get to properly have a look at it yesterday huh? what we didn't get to probably look at Bungalow yesterday. We didn't. No. Yeah. So we're having a look at it today. Oh, yeah, so you're filming. <laughs> kind of funny being at the airport and seeing that the only two places you can fly to are Melbourne and Sydney. James just got pulled over at the security check into the airport. <laughs> oh, what a sucker. What did you get pulled up for? Uh, 
What did you get pulled up for? Explosive test, the random explosive test. Because you look like you're a criminal. I'm a Where's yeah. your mandarin? Oh, you got your mandarin. You got this mandarin from like a, guy, a lady in the, what's it, Nibman? Yeah. She was like, I as. <laughs> Keeping the mandarin for a special occasion. <laughs>